Homes belonging to rapper and producer Sean Diddy Combs raided by Homeland Security. Two properties in Los Angeles and Miami raided at the same time. And we're still working to find out exactly why Homeland Security out with a statement that really doesn't say much. It states earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations, HSI, New York, executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. We will provide further information as it becomes available. We will bring you updates as we learn more. Meanwhile, we want to go now to Nima Romani, a former federal prosecutor and president of the West Coast Trial Lawyers Association. Um, Nima, first of all, a number of reports that Diddy may have been involved in difficult relationships. What is the threshold that had to be crossed from alleged assault to a federal raid? Well, we're talking about alleged sex trafficking, Dell, and this is obviously very serious under federal law. It carries a potential 10 or 15 year mandatory minimum sentence. And under the law, if someone is a minor, there is no consent. The force is presumed. So if Diddy, the allegations are true that Diddy, his sons and others weren't indeed engaging in sexual contact with minors, that's sex trafficking. That's a federal crime, and that's very serious. Nima, we have not seen any of those reports. Can I ask politely what you're basing that information on? Well, this is reports that are coming out here locally in Los Angeles. I live uh, just a couple miles where, from where these search warrants were executed. And again, I'm not saying this is true. This is what local media outlets here in Los Angeles are reporting. Fox was first on the scene, TMZ, which has its pulse on the legal community here. And again, this is just what's being reported. We don't know yet, but what we do know is that there were plenty of civil lawsuits filed against Diddy. The most recent, the first one, of course, being Cassie, longtime ex-girlfriend who filed in November, and others did follow suits. And there were some serious allegations regarding trafficking made in those lawsuits. And based on what's being told to me that this is an investigation that's coming out of the Southern District of New York, we're talking about federal agents from Miami, from Los Angeles, and elsewhere conducting this raid, just leads me to believe that this is likely the case. But again, we won't know until an indictment is actually unsealed. Nima, curious, uh, because these raids carried out by Homeland Security and not the FBI. Well, Homeland Security is involved in trafficking cases, and the FBI will primarily take the lead on child pornography cases. But again, if there are minors involved, they're being given alcohol, they're being given drugs, if there's weapons involved, that is something that HSI will get involved in. Um, they do have concurrent jurisdiction over conduct like that in the United States. They're not just dealing with terrorism, for instance. They will handle gun charges. They will handle trafficking charges. Nima, raids at two homes at the same time would seem to indicate that there might be fears that there would be something transported between homes. Is that a correct read of the situation? Yeah, generally speaking, the raid will happen when prosecutors believe that there's evidence of a crime. They may believe that that evidence may be destroyed if they don't conduct simultaneous raids. And there may be enough probable cause to actually arrest individuals. And again, it seemed like here in Los Angeles, according to images from local news here, that some individuals were arrested at Diddy's home here in Los Angeles. And those individuals appeared to be younger and may have been Diddy's sons. Nima, do we know because these raids took place at homes owned by Diddy, that Diddy himself, or Sean Puffy Combs, uh, whatever the name, the moniker is, I'm sure he will have many AKAs if he is arrested, is there an indication that he is the target of these raids as opposed to his sons? Well, it's pure speculation, but based on the allegations that have been put forth in the civil lawsuits, it does appear that Diddy is the target of this investigation. Again, we won't know until we actually get that indictment or the charging document, because again, all of these documents are sealed until an arrest is actually made. But I think that is a good guess, although at this time, it's just a guess, though. Nima, as we saw with the East Coast raid on Mar-a-Lago, the, the home and the residence of the former president, we found out later that there had been ongoing negotiations for the surrender of the documents in the classified documents case. This case would be different, I would assume, that there would not be communications with Diddy saying, please do this or do that. So this raid would have been a surprise to Diddy as well. 
very different types of cases. And you're right, Dell. There are really is no a pre-raid negotiation in a case like this. Obviously, in the documents case, we know that the National Archives, which are supposed to house the documents, asked for the documents for over a year, and they told the former president that they would make a referral to the Department of Justice. Well, obviously, this is a very different type of case involving a potential sex acts. So those acts have allegedly already been committed. So there's no real discussion of turning over evidence because of course the concern is that that evidence would be destroyed. Nima, as a former federal prosecutor, how much pressure is now on prosecutors on both the West Coast, New York and Miami to release the FBI search warrants uh, in connection with this case because clearly there is public interest and clearly there's going to be a lot of speculation. How soon could we learn what those search warrants detail? Well, when the search warrant is return executed, uh, at some point, the judge will have to unseal the warrants and the affidavits in support. Oftentimes, those warrants are sealed until the individual is arrested. Then the indictment is unsealed, the search warrants, the affidavits, those are all unsealed. Typically, that happens, though, after an arrest is made, because obviously, even though Diddy is a well-known individual, there's always a risk that someone may flee the jurisdiction when they're facing potential criminal charges. Nima Permani, former federal prosecutor. Nima, as always, thanks for being with us.